Hi, my name is Daniel Maget, Education Specialist at the Pisgah Center for Wildlife Education, the Mountain Region Education Center for the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Our job is to conserve and protect our state's wildlife so that future generations can enjoy the same wild animals and habitat that we get to appreciate today. Through education, our goal is to connect North Carolina citizens with wildlife in their area so that they can become stewards of wildlife themselves. One of the ways we create wildlife stewards at the Pisgah Center is through fly fishing. We are fortunate enough to be located on the Davidson River, one of the state's premier trout fishing streams. You see, trout must have cold, clean water to survive. And when an angler enjoys catching a fish, they're going to want to protect the habitat that that fish depends upon, like a mountain stream. Fly fishing can be a challenging yet rewarding way to catch fish. And the first thing one must learn is how to cast. In this series of videos, we will teach you basic casting techniques so that you can practice at home and then go out and catch a fish on the fly. In this video, we will take you through the steps of a standard basic cast or the pick up and put down cast, which allows you to get the fly into the critical spot to catch a trout. This cast begins and ends with the fly rod pointing at the fly on the water. When casting in general, it is important to keep your rod within the correct range of cast. This range on a clock would be between a 10 o'clock on the forward cast and a 2 o'clock position on the back cast. It is important that the angler doesn't use too much wrist or arm when casting. The wrist should never point backwards, known as breaking your wrist, and the arm should never straighten out away from your body on the front cast. The stop and start point ensure the rod itself stores and releases the energy, called loading, instead of the angler's arm, which will get tired more quickly. Another important aspect of the back cast is the timing of when to transition into the forward cast. For your forward cast to be successful, the fly line must be in a straight line in the back cast before proceeding forward with the line. This means that there is a pause in the cast while the back cast straightens out. When you have a lot of line out, you must pause for a longer amount of time in order for your line to straighten out. If you start moving forward too soon, then you will hear a popping sound like a whip, and your forward cast will lose energy and won't be effective your fly will probably break off your line as well. If you wait too long, then your line will start falling behind you and will cause your forward cast to pile up on the river instead of landing in a nice straight line. It's all about timing. Once the line has straightened out behind you, begin moving the rod in a forward position with your arm until the rod has reached the two o'clock position. At the 2 o'clock position, there is a quick wrist snap where the thumb pushes the fly to the desired spot on the water. This is followed by a crisp stop as the line unfurls towards the target. At this time, the angler can begin lowering the rod as the fly falls towards the water. This is known as the follow through. Keep the rod pointing at the fly until either the drift is finished or you have caught a fish. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more instructional videos on casting techniques. For more information about fly fishing classes at the Pisgah Center for Wildlife Education, visit our program calendar at the website below. Thank you.